Hi everyone, hope you're well, hope you're well. It's Saturday, the sun's out, people are smiling, people are walking around. Yes, with masks on, people are being cautious as well. Coming slowly but surely, coming back out of what we class as our lockdown period. And it's not going away. We know it's not going away. Uh, we know this lockdown period, it's been tough for a lot of people. Um, we've had many, many tragedies as well. But there's also been a quite... A, a lot of upturns as well. Um, I was on... Because you guys, you know what I'm like. Um, some of you know what I'm like. I'm always getting inspirational stuff and just looking at things. That I'm the glass house full man. I like looking at things and thinking, wow. And I just read a, an article um, from a, a post of a LinkedIn connection. Um, and I was just... I just felt, Wow. In this so-called downturn that we've got at the moment, no matter what the economy is like or whatever, it's also your micro economy as well, your micro climate that you've got to look after as well. And this um, gentleman on LinkedIn, I've read it, it was reading this stuff, and I've commented back. Um, we've been on LinkedIn connections for quite a long time now. And um, he, he loved the job that he had and they were put on furlough and that eventually they were all made redundant or his department was made redundant and it's a job that he had passion for and loved but this guy this chap he had talent and his talent was he was a good carpenter he was good at home knocking things up and it was in that three month lockdown period he decided to say right go it alone he invested in a van he invested in some tools to get out there in the trade and boom he just finished his, his his first job. It looked fantastic as well, and he's booked up for the he's booked up for the next two months. Now, to me, it's about sometimes we have to be backed into that corner before we use what we've got that talent to come out. So, my question is to all you guys out there: because what have you learned through lockdown? What you brought out? What what was your side gig? Did you did you do something else? Are you going back to work? Are you, have you got a new talent? Have you, you learnt something? What have you done? What have you done to actually, I mean, when we, me and my partner and Zoe, we, we took a step back and look into our honky tonk business and our online business that we've got. We've got our honky tonk wine library down in Plymouth and we've also got a network marketing business. And we looked and took a step back and looked into it because even though this, this lockdown was tough for a lot of people, for a lot of people looked at the opportunity, what they can get. And that opportunity was a little bit more time with yourself, looking out and, and looking back into your businesses or to your job or to what you knew. Was it right for you? Which way did you want to go yourself in the future? And for me and Zoe, there was something that sort of hit, you know, and we're still, <laughs> we're still working very hard. You know, even in lockdown, we've, we've not had what the class is downtime to, to do things I mean we, we've got a date night tonight which is fantastic but but we saw things in the business that needed to be done so we've done some tweaks we're having a refurb we're putting a lounge in so we're turning the toilets around in that particular business when it came to my online business my network marketing business I took the, the plunge to really go for it, really punch above what I'm, I'm not normally used to and get out of my comfort zone <clears throat> and really go for it. And it starts to pay off. It's paid off of, of, in a way that both businesses, the other businesses, is, is lasting. We're getting good quality feedback from the honky tonk business, the wine bag business, asking them we're open. People are excited about what it's going to look like and the changes. And with the networking side of the business, bringing new people on and new customers on and just generally just focusing on the things that need to be focusing on. And I know this 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 dreadful virus is still out there. And I know there's lots of concerns with a lot of people out there. But life's still moving on for some. And we have to we have to link arms with those who want to move on, those who are concerned. They're going to do it their way. They're going to take their time coming back out of lockdown. But with, with us, we've just seen and looked in that in diversity, there's people looking for so many different things. And like I'm going back to my LinkedIn connection, what a story. What a story. And I know there's people out there, it's happened to them the same thing. And I think that is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic that in this lockdown period, you've found yourself or you've 
gone for the business that you want to go for, or you're doing something different, or you've learned some new tricks and some new tools, you've lost weight, you start thinking about yourself. So I just think going forward now, if you have changed, if you have added something onto it, if you have come out with your your um, your comfort zone, drop us a line. I want to I want to hear hear what, how you've gone, what you've done, what something new you've done. I want to hear it because there's a there is a there's a lot of there's a, there's a lot of negativity out there. There's a lot of worry out there, and rightly so. I can understand that. But let's bring something positive. What did you learn through lockdown? Did you do something different? Did you keep fit? Did you lose your weight? Did you run a mile? Did you change your job and new business, what was it that kept you going through um, this lockdown period? Have a great Saturday. Now, I'm getting off to get ready for my date night. Um, the missus is out shopping and seeing her, seeing her grandson, going to hold her grandson from the first time. That, to Zoe, is being, uh, she, she's been waiting a month for this. So she's out going to hold her grandson for the very, very first time. You know, so um, everyone's been cautious about that, you know, so uh, she's, that's why she's waited a month and it's the first time she can actually go and hold her grandson. So um, have a great day, everyone, and enjoy, enjoy this fantastic weather. Have a good one. Bye for now.